Hello everyone, welcome back to the Big Book of Animals. We got some amazing animals to show you guys today. So we previously read about sea cows. So the sea cows are right there, and we're going to be going on page 74 to read about cows, sheep, and goats. So let's dive in. Of the otters. Yes, that's the small, medium, the seals. Here we are. Cows, sheep, and goats. Cows, sheep, and goats are some of the best-known hoofed animals. These species and their relatives are known as ruminants. All have an even number of toes and a series of four digestive chambers, the largest of which is known as the rumen. Ruminants are experts at digesting plants that are very high in fiber, or cellulose. To start the process, they chew their food twice. A cow that is chewing its cud, for example, is breaking up its meal into tiny bits and mixing it with saliva. This process is called rumination. Next, the food moves into the rumen, which is filled with partially digested plant material and millions of microbial micro organisms like protosa and bacteria. These microbes eat the plant fiber and release energy, fat, glucose, and methane gas. This type of digestion is called fermentation. From the rumen, the plant material passes into a much smaller chamber called the reticulum, which, where it is filtered. Larger pieces stay in the rumen to be rechewed. Smaller pieces pass into the third chamber, the omasum, where water and other nutrients are absorbed. Only then does the food pass into the true stomach or fourth chamber, called the abo Abomasum. From there, digestion proceeds much the way it does in non ruminant mammals. Many species of cows, sheep, and goats have been domesticated and bred on farms worldwide for their meat, milk, wool, and leather. Others are kept as pets. Their life spans range up to 30 years. First, we have the Tarkin. They live in the eastern Himalaya in Asia. They are 330 to 880 pounds or 150 to 400 kilograms, and they eat leaves, grasses, and herbs. Talk and look as though they are part cow, part goat, and part antelope. They live high in the mountains during the summer and in very large herds. During winter, they break into smaller groups and move down to the forested valleys. American bison. They live in protected areas of the western U.S. and Canada before near extinction range was North America from Alaska to northern Mexico. They are 700 to 9, one, I mean 1,980 pounds or 317.5 to 898.1 kilograms, and they eat mostly grasses, also other vegetation such as sagebrush. There were once 60 million American bison. Their presence, they grazed in large herds, helped to maintain the prairie ecosystem. They were hunted to near extinction. However, by 1890 today, they are found only in protect protected areas. That's good. They used to be almost extinct, but at least the good thing is now they're starting to be protected, and I think the population is starting to go back up. Bighorn sheep. They live on the Rocky Mountains of North America from southern Canada to Colorado, USA, and deserts from Nevada, USA, to Mexico. They are 116.6 to 279.4 kilograms, or 59 to 126.7 kilograms, I meant 52.9. And the diet is grasses, herbs, sedges, and forbs. Bighorn sheep live only in drier deserts or mountainous areas. Their small hoofs are adapted to fit the narrow ledges between rocks, but they are too blunt to claw through snow to find food. Domestic mufflon sheep. They live worldwide. They are 44 to 440 pounds or 20 to 200 kilograms. And they eat mainly grasses, but will also eat a wide variety of hays and oats. Mufflon sheep were first domesticated about 10,000 years ago in the Middle East and Central Asia. Since then, they have been bred for their meat, hide, milk, and wool. With more than 200 breeds, domestic sheep now outnumber all other species of sheep. Mountain goat. They live in the northern Rocky Mountains in North America. They are 125 to 180 pounds or 57 to 82 kilograms. 
and they eat grasses, woody plants, mosses, lichens, and herbs. Mountain goats have oval hooves with rubber-like soles that help them grip rocks. Each year, they migrate vertically. At the end of winter, they shed their thick coats and climb up to 16,000 feet, or 4,877 meters. By summer, they are back down at 3,200 feet, or 975 meters. Domestic cow. They live worldwide. They are 300 to 3,000 pounds, or 136.1 to 1,300.8, I mean 1,360 point eight kilograms, and they eat grasses and stems. Cows were domesticated 10,000 years ago in India, the Middle East, and North Africa. Today, there are more than 800 breeds. Cows are used for plowing and moving heavy loads and sources of meat, milk, cheese, glue, soap, leather, and fertilizer. Nubian Ibex. They live in Northern Africa and the Middle East. They are 55 to 154 pounds or 24.9 to 69.9 kilograms, and they eat herbs, shrubs, tree foliage, buds, fruit, and grasses. Nubian Ibex have a special strategy for protecting their young from predators. They lead them into a nursery of sorts, a walled-in area like a canyon. Their mothers leave the nursery to graze, returning often to nurse their young. And finally, the yak. They live in Asia's Tibetan Plateau, are 660 to 2,200 pounds or 299 to 997.9 kilograms, and they eat low-lying grasses and grass-like plants. Wild yak. Wild yaks live at very high elevations, up to 17,000 feet or 5,395 meters. Domesticated yaks are smaller, but equally well adapted to the altitude. For thousands of years, yaks have been used as pack animals, as well as sources of meat, milk, cheese, clothing, blankets, and tents. Let's take a look, because it's time for our largest and smallest in the category. Okay. When we take a look, our smallest animal will have to be the Nubian ibex at the max amount. And the largest animal, ooh, this one was a really, really close one. But this time, the winner is going to have to be the domestic cow. Yak, you were really close. Okay, guys, this will end it. And next up, we're going to be reading about antelopes and pronghorns and deer and elk. Well, they're going to be in a different one. All right, guys, this will conclude it. Follow me on my social media, and we'll see you in the next animal. Peace.